So we're about to integrate this polynomial divided by another polynomial. This one's going to be extra tricky because our well, there's a couple things going on. Our numerator degree is one is higher than equal or greater than our denominator degree. So we're going to start by doing division. The second thing we're going to have to do, the denominator does not factor over the real numbers. So we can't just break it down and do some partial fractions. We won't be able to reduce it any further. So we're gonna have to get a little more creative. So we do have quite a bit of um, division ahead of us. So let's go ahead and start with that. Now, I'm a little bit scared because we have some big coefficients. Those are usually not fun. Now there's no x term here, so I'm gonna put in no x's as a placeholder or zero x's. So we have negative 98x cubed plus 196x squared minus 69x plus 143. We did get every power x cubed squared first and zero power. So we don't have to put in any placeholders here, which is nice. Okay, you cannot use synthetic division if you have a square term or anything higher than a linear term. So synthetic division is not going to help us here. We got to go long division. So I need to multiply 49x squared to get negative 98x cubed. So I'm going to need negative 2x. Okay, so multiply it across this whole polynomial. Now the reason I put 0x there, you'll see in a second. So we have negative 98 x cubed that of course is going to cancel we also have plus 0 x squares so that is the negative 2 x times 0 x is 0 x squares it's important that you put that as a placeholder uh, so that you know negative 2 x times 36 is negative ooh, 74 x all right, there's a decent chance I mess up on arithmetic because I'm pretty bad at it. Uh, however, what I'm expecting is remainder zero. If I don't get remainder zero, something went wrong. Uh, so that'll be my check. Uh, I did have negative times positive, so that's how I get negative 74x. But remember, we're about to subtract here, so it's negative plus a positive 98 cancels to zero x cubed. There's no, you're just subtracting zero on the next term. So we have 196 x squared. Last up, negative 69 plus 74 is five x. Is that right, negative? Yeah, plus five x, and we're gonna bring down the 143. Okay, you don't need to write this uh, leading term when it's zero, so I'm just gonna take that out. All right, so now I need to multiply 49x squared to cancel that 196, which is a plus four. And from here, we got four times 49 is 196. X squared plus zero x because we're multiplying that 4 by 0 so we got 0x 4 times 36 oh no 144 all right that doesn't seem right oh we won't be getting remainder 0 no we certainly won't be so that won't help us here Hopefully I did all my arithmetic right. Uh, there will be a remainder and we'll deal with that in a minute. All right, I better double check this. 36 times two is 72. Double that is 144. All right, so I'm feeling good about these numbers. Now we're gonna subtract here. All right, your 196s cancel and they better. You have five minus zero is five X. 143 minus 144 is minus one. I think that should be a three X there. 
I'm not sure why. What went wrong? 69X. That's, should that be a 74? No, that should be a 72. Let's change that to a 72, which makes this a 3X and this a 3X. All right, I think this is correct. So that's our remainder, 3X minus one. Okay, so what that means, we can rewrite this. So our non, uh, our whole number part goes in with no denominator, so that's negative 2x plus 4. Our remainder comes in over the original denominator. Like that. dx. Okay, so that's where your remainder goes. Now, when it does divide in evenly, here's where your remainder 0 comes in. If this divided in evenly, there would be a 0 remainder up top. And this whole entire thing would disappear and you'd just be left with uh, the original polynomial up there. Unfortunately, our remainder is not zero. So we're gonna have a little more work to do. And it'd be nice if that term disappeared that I just crossed out, but not gonna happen. Okay. So we have integral negative two X plus four. I'm splitting this across the uh, addition right here into two separate integrals. Okay, the first integral on the left, super easy. Negative x squared plus four x. Uh, you can just check it uh, and see that's correct. Derivative x squared is 2x. Your negative makes it negative 2x. Derivative 4x is 4, no problem. There is a plus constant, and what I always do, I just wait till my last integral, and then I write my plus constant after that. All right, so how do we integrate this? That's easier said than done. I'm tempted to make a u substitution. Let's go ahead and write that down. That would be a, a very good choice. Very good first guess. Derivative of this will be 49 times two is 98 x dx. Unfortunately, we have that stupid minus one, so I can't just, I could bring the 98 to the other side. But again, I can't just say it's x dx because of that stupid minus one. So that's very unfortunate. What I'm gonna do is split this fraction in the numerator. So I'll keep my u sub over there. Well, I'm gonna need some more substitutions. We're not even that close to being done yet. Okay, so I don't wanna keep rewriting all these things right here. So let's go ahead and do these integrals in separate locations. I'll write my final answer inside this box here. But let's go ahead and do our integrals somewhere else. I'll do the three x integral first. All right, in this first integral, what I was worried about, the stupid minus one, is not here anymore. So let's go ahead and use that nice u substitution in the upper right corner. Okay, so we have our x dx, that's gonna turn into one over 98 du. We'll bring the three out front, one over 98 du over uh, u. All right, we'll just rearrange just a tiny bit. I'll bring that constant out front. So we have three uh, times one over 98 or three over 98. Integral one over u du. This one's super easy. Integral one over u is ln. 
I want absolute value. Uh, I'm not gonna write my plus constant, I'm gonna save that so the very last thing I'm gonna do is write a plus constant. By last thing, I mean the thing I did right there. Okay, unsub, u was that, oh no, 49x squared plus 36. I'm gonna have to hurry so I don't run out of power. Okay, so that is our uh, that was three over ninety-eight. Okay, so last up, integral one over forty-nine x squared plus thirty-six. DX. So let's rewrite this a little bit. And I'm going to let W, I can't use U again, U's already in use. So I'm going to use 7X. DW is 7DX. So why did I use this? Uh, we have 7X whole thing squared plus 6 squared DX. All right, this should look familiar, and we're gonna have to go over to the book, and we're gonna use right there at the bottom of the page. That's gonna be one over, now our A was six, one over six tan inverse W over six. One over six, we have our A is six, one over six, tan inverse oh I better go ahead and make that W substitution before I go too far here all right we don't have a 7 so it's 1 7th DW all right so that's 1 7th integral U squared plus six squared D e W. Okay, can I beat the battery timer? One seventh, so that's by itself. Now it's one over A, which for us is one over six, tan inverse, now it was U over A. In our case, that would be W over A, which is six. Uh, there's no plus constant yet. We're going to do that at the end. Now unsubstitute everything out. 7 times 6 is 42. Tan inverse. W is 7x over 6. 142 tan inverse. Okay. All right. Plus C. There we go. And 